Hello everyone, welcome to the market outlook uh, this Monday morning uh, and as we return to the trade after seeing a recovery on Friday, uh, there has been a little bit of uh, negative opening when we started off the trade this Monday morning but as I speak to you, uh, this Monday morning around about 11.30 am in the morning, there has been a recovery on the markets uh, to give you certain levels. Uh, Sensex is down close to about 500 points, uh, levels are 57,870. Nifty is down 150 points and the level is 16,950. Uh, Nifty Bank down about 320 points, 39,275 is the level for the bank Nifty. On the currency and crude oil, uh, currency rupee strength in the rupee of 5 paise against the dollar and the level for uh, rupee dollar is 82.50 for a dollar. On the crude oil energy basket, uh, downward move on both uh, Brent and NYMEX. Brent is trading at about $72.30 per barrel and NYMEX is at about $66.15 a barrel. A sizable correction uh, and good news uh, for the uh, uh, global markets, especially for those countries which are uh, dependent largely on imports of crude oil. Uh, we have seen global markets correct overnight, over the weekend as well. Uh, the main reason for that is the announcement of interest rates by US Fed and the continued uh, negative news flows uh, for the US banking, uh, along with uh, the SVB and Signature Bank. Uh, uh, Credit Suisse is one more bank uh, which has asked for uh, bailouts, uh, had secured some funding, but there are some more news which has kept the US markets under pressure and because of that the global markets are also under pressure. Uh, not uh, giving uh, any kind of uh, news flows as far as news flows is concerned. I think uh, this news flow from the US will continue to dominate the global markets including the markets in the US. But the levels where we are, well we have been here a couple of times in the last uh, maybe about week or fortnight. And then we've managed to bounce back. Uh, there are uh, certain uh, feelers in the market that we might be heading lower. Well, it all depends upon the news flow, honestly speaking. Uh, more so globally, not locally. Uh, global news flows will keep our markets and global markets under pressure. Uh, given the kind of uh, selling pressure from the FIs, well, that is also uh, aiding to the downward move on the markets. Uh, remains to be seen where do we find our place and the bottom as far as markets are concerned. Uh, as always, uh, we give you investment ideas, but before that, uh, come first, second week of April, we will see a curtain raiser for the fourth quarter earnings. And uh, my sense is that if uh, that is able to give certain direction in the market in form of uh, some color and shade, then uh, that will help the sentiments uh, as far as Indian equity markets are concerned. But uh, given the correction from the highs to the level where we are trading right now, uh, and like I mentioned earlier, you know, investment ideas is something that you should definitely look at this kind of market. And uh, this kind of market actually gives you an opportunity to invest in stocks uh, at the price uh, which is reasonable, which is rewarding over a longer period of time and the risk reward ratio is skewed towards uh, uh, rewards rather than risk given the time and price wise correction. Well, last time also when I was in interacting with all of you all we gave two investment ideas. Uh, this week as well uh, we have two investment ideas. Uh, one is from the private sector bank uh, and the other one is from uh, cellular service provider sector. Not that we have many of them, we have two large players but nevertheless. So the first one is uh, Access Bank. Uh, let me say this friends that given the final merger of uh, credit card and uh, retail business of Citibank into Access Bank, uh, there is going to be a one time effect that will be visible on the balance sheet because of the takeover of business. But looking at future perspectives and keeping in mind that this is a one time expense that will possibly have some kind of impact on the bottom line. If you have to look at the third quarter number of Axis Bank where they were much much better than what 
the street estimates were and the R estimates were. So there will be you know short term negative kind of an over anger depending upon the numbers and of course the fact that uh, merger of Citibank, credit card and uh, retail business uh, there will be some amount of uh, concern. But please remember one thing that this is one bank which has proven its track record on the earnings fronts, on the credibility of the management and at Geojit we believe that banking and finance is one sector that will possibly be in the spotlight for good reasons and uh, better than expected numbers. So Axis Bank given the risk reward, I think uh, staggered approach should be approached, uh, should be the way of investment as far as Axis Bank is concerned or in fact any other investment ideas that we give on the fundamental side. And uh, from a long term point of view, we believe that there is much more hard side uh, and downside is extremely limited. The second one, like I mentioned, it is from the cellular service provider sector, uh, Bharti Airtel. Uh, Reliance Geo offered some two uh, new tariffs, family pack uh, in the prepaid category. To counter that, uh, Bharti Airtel has also, you know, moved its uh, steps in the right direction. And the fact of the matter is that over the last six to eight months or rather one year, uh, the ARPUs or the data plan or the voice contribution has gone up considerably and the management's uh, view is that they are likely to see further more uh, revisions on the upper side as far as the tariffs are concerned both prepaid and postpaid. Not to forget uh, you in India we have a huge subscriber base with the kind of population that we have and along with that uh, data usage is uh, something that has been constantly going up uh, uh, month on month, quarter on quarter. And the contribution from that will also speak uh, quite high numbers for the, not only for the ARPU's number going up, but also for the profitability going up. Uh, so this is the second investment idea, Bharti Airtel from the telecom service provider pack. And not to forget, it is the second largest service provider and has got a very decent subscriber base as well. Please remember one thing, these are long term fundamental investment ideas. These are not for short term, medium term or intraday. So please bear in mind that you should have one, one and a half year plus kind of time horizon if you decide to invest in both these stocks. And like I mentioned, staggered way of investment in both these stocks from a long term point of view will be much more beneficial. Uh, keeping in mind uh, that we will have uh, four quarter numbers coming through in the next couple of weeks rather in first, second week. It will be a curtain raiser in April and then the rest of the companies will follow. Thank you very much for your patience hearing and I'll see you again next week. Till then, please do take care of your health. Bye-bye.